All right, hello everybody. My name is Todd and welcome to Honeysuckle Farms. Um, it's Saturday morning and we're up in the carriage house uh, Normally we get up here on Sundays for sure, but uh, We had some chores and some things I needed to do today up in the garden, but we've got a storm coming in So I decided to just go ahead and let's get up here in the carriage house and finish up the framing um, if you watched our last video um, I was able to get all our plates in and get a few walls up um today we had to get some more wood got to get that upstairs uh, we got that from the lumber yard so we're going to get that upstairs and we're going to finish framing up the bathroom and closet area and then the wall for the bedroom um hopefully we'll have enough uh, material left over to work on the uh, doorways i think we will it's going to be close but uh again and uh, let me explain something else all these walls up here are going to be furred out the outside walls you're not going to see the lumber um i know that's you know nobody wants to see the wood but i've got to have room to um bring my electrical and plumbing in in certain areas and um drilling through these logs as we were building it was not an option um first time uh, log builder here um, but uh, it takes a big crew and a lot of extra effort to drill in all your electrical and everything ahead of time so um, we were more concerned about getting the logs up and my plan was to fur it out so uh, you'll see that on a lot of log homes they fur out the inside walls it helps straighten everything up because these logs aren't perfect but uh, we got them got them pretty good so happy with everything uh, been working on the windows um, Got a couple of quotes in from some people, uh, getting ready to make a decision on those and get those ordered. They're probably four to six weeks out. And then what we're gonna probably do is get the metal for the roof ordered here in the next couple of weeks and get that up first. Um, just like today's today, um, you know, with this weather, it'd be nice to get it 100% uh, completed, the roof completed, and then get the windows in and then we can rock and roll on the inside start getting our uh, electrical rough in in and plumbing rough in and then uh, then drywall so uh, it's coming down to the end here where I'm pushing hard to get in this get all this stuff taken care of but uh, we can only take it uh, one weekend at a time like we do so today is um, hopefully we'll be able to get the rest of the walls up I think we should be able to get them up no problem and probably get the doorways in I've got a um, an arch that I want to uh, frame in right here. We're gonna put an arch here and I'm gonna have a similar arch over the bar. And I'm thinking instead of doing like a continuous arch, we're gonna just arch the corners to match the bar. Um, I've gotta look and see if I gotta, because of the extra height that we have up here, we're lucky we've got plenty of room for cabinets and um so that makes everything work out in our benefit so i can have a nice arch at a decent height and still had room for cabinets that's what i got to figure out but um possibly get on that later today but uh again right now we're just going to get ready and get framing on some walls so we're going to get at it matt got here we were getting ready to start uh he's bringing up some two by fours and uh fired up the compressor to start um nailing up my first stud and a compressor flat on us so we had to make a quick run up to the local ace hardware got us another compressor and uh we're back in business so we're gonna get at it
we went ahead and got the wall for the hallway done and all the other rooms and then we got the back wall of the bathroom done we've got <coughs> <coughs> excuse me um we've got all the framing all the walls framed up that's all we're going to do for today um but uh yeah that's it uh that's a wrap for today um i've got to go feed the the critters do my chores so um we're gonna get back at it tomorrow so hope you're having a good weekend all right so we stopped by the camper and i end up picking up my sidekick come on come on wrestler what are you doing what are you doing <laughs> Ooh, we want hugs. Us or loves hugs. Mm -hmm. Alright, we gotta go feed the cows. Well, our second calf of the year, and it's a white Dexter, and she's fixing to get into trouble. Baby is tagged. They are cute. Dexter calves are the cutest little calves. They're so small. And they just have so much personality when they're young. And they are cute. So a little update on the garden. The uh, raised beds are doing well. Um, got something eating up my tomato plants over here it normally doesn't happen outside the fruits doing well I don't see any caterpillars I hadn't seen any and I just don't know what to do um, we've got a couple of these tomato plants like this one right here and one on the other side we had some bad wind in here the other day but uh, they're doing great and just de decided to die I don't know what it is I've heard about it from some other people that say it may be the soil or the compost, but I don't know. Um, the rest of our tomatoes are doing good. Like I said, we got some little chew marks on them. Our little uh, minions are doing good. We got some zucchini. Um, everything else is doing good. Uh, got a little funny in here. Um, I threw a pumpkin plant in here and uh, <laughs> it took off. And we've got a little pumpkin in there right now. So I don't know if it's going to grow. I do this all the time. I'll take one of pumpkin or uh, cantaloupe or something, honeydew, and throw it in here. And they usually do really well. Hoop house is doing good. I didn't get all my cages in. So I have a, one or two tomato plants that are just on the ground growing. I planted one of my famous pumpkins in here also. Um, but everything else is doing good. Herb garden's doing okay. I don't know what's up with that basil back there. One of our basil plants is dying. Uh, but our hot peppers, little tomatoes are doing good. So we finished up in the greenhouse. Um, like I said, we stripped the uh, aquaponics and uh, pulled uh, two big bunches of celery out. We pulled everything out. I'm going to try to figure out what I'm going to grow next that'll grow during the summer. And then uh, we cleaned out and reset up the hydroponics. We emptied out the reservoir, um, cleaned all the buckets out, cleaned the clay balls up, and then installed five better bush tomato plants. Now I'm going to top these buggers. I'm going to try to keep them short. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> we'll see how that goes. And I had a couple of pepper plants that uh, were left over from our, our uh, seedlings that have been just growing kind of wild. Um, they're probably stunted or something, but I never had a lot of luck growing um, pepper plants in the uh, hydro, uh, hydroponics. So what I want to do is put them in here and I'm going to top them too to keep them down and see if I can get them to bush out. So... Uh, 
Gotta find my clippers. We're gonna go ahead and top these bad boys. So, went ahead and topped them. We'll see if it works. But uh, we're fixing to turn the system back on and head off to feed the pigs and the cows and the chickens. Uh, the other thing, we cleaned up the old planting area. And uh, so uh, we ended up repotting a bunch of things here this weekend. Uh, we planted some beans over in one of these drums. And we've got some sweet potatoes and some regular potatoes that have been growing in the other drums. So everything's doing all well. Uh, our pepper garden's doing good. Um, we ended up pulling most of our onions and uh, we're setting them out to dry. We planted some new onions. We should be able to get another batch of onions in before fall. That's what I'm hoping. But I wanted to wish everybody um, a happy holiday and let's make sure that we're giving thanks for the people that gave their lives so that we could live in the country that we live in now. Um, it's, it's those people that lost their lives, gave their lives, the ultimate sacrifice for this country and uh, our people. And uh, that's what this day's about. So we wanna make sure we, we honor those people and uh, honor them the right way. We got done working in the garden. We're coming down to feed the pigs. All the big pigs are doing all right. They're loving this sunny day. I think we had, we were in the 50s last night. We're supposed to be in the 80s today, like a 30 degree swing. And the teenagers, <clears throat> they're doing good. We're fixing to spray their pen out and feed them. It's a warm day, as you can tell. They're not out here bothering me, but they will be soon. They're looking good. So we're gonna get them washed out and get them fed. All right, good morning, everybody. My name is Todd and welcome to Honeysuckle Farms. It's a Sunday morning. It's carriage house day. And uh, although we had another plan in my head of something else I wanted to get done. We've just been having some crazy weather. Um, it got down in the 50s this weekend. It's been cold, rainy, gloomy, but it's been nice to work in. So we're gonna take advantage of it and just stay up here in the carriage house and try to knock this framing out. Um, yesterday, if you watched our video, earlier part of the video, we got most, we got all the walls up. Uh, we're gonna go back now and put our jacks in for our doors and uh got a little short wall we got to build right over in here and then uh, i think i'm gonna be working on my arches today for the uh pass through bar area and into the hallway so um that's going to be the plan uh like i said it's nice weather and we're enjoying it we're fixing to get at it So, um, we've got all our framing done. We've got all our little headers put in for our doors. Um, I think we've got all the basic framing done, up or and down, everything's braced off, nailed off. Um, next, we're working on, I'm wanting to build some arches. Um, 
and this door right here is going to be a pass-through door so we want to do an arch there and then i also want to do an arch here for my um bar what do you want to call it my, my serving area and uh so what we've done is i made a template out of some plywood we're cutting white pieces and we're going to put them together and see if we can make this work um the good thing is we've got extra height in this kitchen here so i'll be able to have my archway and then still be able to put cabinets above it now the cabinet's going to be up high i understand that but um i do want the ability to have some storage up top being that this may be a uh, guest house and all that stuff later on but you know you'll have to get a steward to get up there but anyway um i want to have matching arches at the uh bar area and, and, the, and the uh the case opening so uh we're gonna see if we can work it out i said i'm not a carpenter but we got a plan and we're gonna see if we can make it work out so we're gonna get at it all right guys so we're All right, well, that's the end of the day for me. I had to head on home, um, but we were able to get all the framing, 97% of the framing done. And the one thing I forgot was the front door or the top door here. Um, on the plans that we got, they did not have a door there. There was only a door at the bottom of the stairs, but for security reasons, I'm adding another door there. And I want to make it three foot so when you turn, you've got a big enough door, door to move any furniture up. Unfortunately, we had to work a few things out, but I think it's going to work. I think we're going to be all right. So uh, I'm going to frame that up tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow's Memorial Day. And uh, just want to wish all those people that served in our military and gave their life for this country a happy blessed day um if it wasn't for people like you and the people that have fought to give their lives and fought and gave their lives and fighting for this country we wouldn't be where we are today which you know we need to work on ourselves this country's gone to pot according to me so uh we need to get a few things back in this country back like morals and respect and things like that so um but uh anyway uh, all in all, been a good day. Uh, basically, a little bit last weekend and the most this weekend, we got it all framed up. I'm digging my arches. Uh, once sheetrock gets on that, that won't have a point there in the middle right there. Um, but once we get sheetrock on it, it's going to look awesome. I really like the arches and the way they work out. I hope everybody is having a great weekend and uh, hope you have a fantastic week. And like I said, take time to thank all the people that gave their lives for this country because it's not about veterans it's not about people in the military this weekend it's about people who gave their lives so there's a whole long list of people that have gave their life for this country and we ought to be very thankful for it there's no other country like this one in the world so god bless y'all but uh again thanks for joining us as we're out here building our dream one weekend at a time and like i always say you can too don't ever put things uh, uh, past you. If you feel like it, hey, I'm not a carpenter, but uh, look at what we've done, okay? You may not be a carpenter, you may not be anything, but you know, all you gotta do is give it a go, and heck, you can always YouTube it. That's what I do, if you wanna figure it out, YouTube it. No matter what anybody ever says to you in your life, don't you ever, ever give up on your dreams. My name is Todd, this is Honeysuckle Farms. Hope to see you in the next video. Bye.